This is Peter Planamente with your weekly WIT recap. Two students were robbed outside of Beaux-Arts Hall on Rowan University's campus at 1 a.m. on Sunday, according to Rowan Police. The students were approached by a college-age black male wearing a dark red hooded sweatshirt who displayed a handgun. The suspect then proceeded to steal the student's cell phones and fled the scene in a four-door gray or silver sedan. The suspect has since been identified and arrested. The search for missing Rowan student Ryan Albert has officially been suspended as the cold weather continues to pick up, according to the Courier Post. On October 4th, Albert went missing while hiking in Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado. Rescuers plan to continue search efforts once snow and ice melts, according to a statement released by the park. Albert is a senior from Marlton, New Jersey. On Sunday morning, ESPN recognized Rowan as a National Unified Champion School for their excellence within the Unified Sports Program. ESPN reporter and anchor Michelle Steele hosted a pep rally on campus for the occasion. Rowan Unified Sports is a student organization that allows college students to team up with people with special needs. Teams take to the field for soccer in the fall and basketball in the winter. Psych Alliance, a psychology club at Rowan that promotes knowledge on mental health disorders, holds its paint and cider stress management event. Students were able to de-stress while making their own artwork and learn more about coping mechanisms. Dr. Jeffrey Greeson, a health psychology professor, was the guest speaker for the event. He offered stress management tips to those in attendance. And finally, let's get a check of your weekend weather. Thursday will feature a mix of sun and clouds with highs in the low 50s. Friday will be mostly cloudy with breaks of sun. Rain will move in by the afternoon with highs in the mid 50s. Rain will move out early on Saturday and clouds will clear. Highs only top out in the upper 40s with a breeze. Sunday will be sun soaked with highs staying cool in the mid 40s. And that'll do it for this week's edition of the WIT Week in Review. For the latest news, visit thewitonline.com. Hope to catch you back here next week.